What's up, boo? What's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. Today, we are learning how to tell when a hammy melon is ripe, okay? So hammy melons, they can be extremely hard when they are not ripe, okay? So do not eat a hard melon, okay? So um, this is a melon that I got at, where the fruit did I get this I got it some Asian market because it's yeah that does not look like a Costco uh, uh, sticker but it is a hammy melon and um, no idea where I got this honestly but it's been sitting in my house forever I'm talking like this has been three weeks okay I'm waiting for it to smell finally today I smelled it I was like, okay, it's ready. Let me make a video, okay? So we got this hammy melon, and um, personally, I just look for a melon that has no green. It has a little bit of give, and most importantly, it smells. So we're gonna cut it down the center. Hammy melons are not my favorite, but when they're good, they're really good, all right? So inside has lots of seeds. And you know, for a lot of you guys that are focused on fruit with seeds in it, um, ha melons are probably your best bet. All melons have seeds except for, you know, seedless watermelon. Okay, so hammy melons are the most crunchy melon for sure, all right? So it's never gonna be like super, like, soft, but it should not be extremely hard. Mmm. Yeah, it's crunchy, but wow, that's really good. That's weird. It's kind of like, I've had it before, but I don't remember it being this crunchy. Um, the inside is the sweetest part, so be careful when you're taking the seeds out. Look at how beautifully laid out those seeds are. Can you see? Whoa, nature's incredible, huh? Um, the other thing I wanted to say was that, um, how much does this look like a vagina? I'm sorry, but that is hilarious. I'm sorry. It's just, wow. Uh, not my vagina. I don't have these exact um, features, but it's very similar, right? I mean, the seeds, obviously, that's not in vaginas. Okay, let's move on from vaginas. So uh, the last thing I want to say is yeah let's get a spoon and let us please um take all right this is the best spoon i can get at this time all the other ones are in the dishwasher what we're gonna do is we're gonna just be very gentle and take the seeds out carefully you don't want to miss out on the sweetest part of the melon now something that's very very important to me okay is to help people know when their fruit is ripe because that is the number one thing that's gonna help you go raw. So if there's any fruit, mm, mm. oh my God, so good. It tastes like honey. Um, It tastes like a cantaloupe mixed with honey. It's really, really good. Wow. And no, I don't, I don't eat honey, but I remember what it tasted like. I used to love honey. Okay, so, Y'all know that I used to like literally like drink honey and maple syrup. <laughs> I was crazy. Cause when I used to eat everything in the house, like I used to eat up everything, all the cookies, all the cakes, everything, and then there'd be nothing left. I would like start drinking maple syrup and honey. I was a true, true crack addict when it came to food. I was a binge eater and um, I once ate, I counted it after I was done eating, after I had a binge episode, and I had eaten 26,000 calories in one sitting. No joke, y'all. I should have been, whew, I should have been on that my 500 pound life, but what happened, and I was on my way to doing that. I was almost 200 pounds when I was 26, but you know what happened? I found the raw food diet. If I had not found the raw food diet, um, I'm very sure that I would have ended up on that on that show because I'm an all or nothing person um, maybe you are too I'm a zero or a hundred person so either I'm gonna be extremely unhealthy or I'm gonna be extremely healthy and thank God thank God I found the raw food diet because I always wanted to be extremely healthy but the problem is is that I didn't know what to eat I thought you know 
I thought that steamed chicken and broccoli, like baked chicken and, and steamed broccoli were health foods. I thought that brown rice was health foods. I thought that tuna was good for us. I thought that, um, you know, I thought all the mainstream stuff and I thought we needed to eat a balanced diet with, you know, the proteins and the carbs and the fats and the, yeah. Do you know what's the most balanced food on this planet? Fruit. It has all the perfect amounts of protein, carbs, fat, vitamins, minerals, nutrients. Fruit has literally the perfect balance. This is a balanced meal right here. Right here is my balanced meal. Okay. Understand that right now. All right. Man is not smarter than nature. Man is not smarter than God. And that's the problem with society. We have put man over God. Okay. So when you consume protein powder over fruit, thinking that protein powder is better for you, you're putting man over God. I'm just putting that out there for all the fucking fake ass Christians out there. Okay. Because I'm a Christian in my heart and soul. And yeah, I curse because I'm from New York City. And that's like English to us. Like that's how we speak there. Okay, we don't see cursing as um, a curse from the adversary. Okay, somebody commented that yesterday that cursing is, um, you know, promoting the devil or like cursing is, you know, putting a curse on me and putting a curse on my friends and family when I use it and like all this craziness. And that might be true for you, but I'm from New York. So unless you're from New York, then you don't know how we speak. We don't speak like you, boo. Okay, so listen. Maybe I'll stop cursing one day. Certainly. <laughs> I promised myself I was not going to get into this. Certainly, when I have kids, I'm not going to fucking talk to them like this. I'm not going to curse in front of them when they're fucking one, two, three years old. And if I do by accident, then fuck it. But like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to intentionally curse at them all day long every day. Okay. She said to me that, um, you know, she has kids. This woman, she was watching my YouTube videos and I started cursing up a storm and she didn't know because she has young kids and it was really horrible. Um, first of all, ma'am, if you're gonna put on stuff for your kids, make sure it's kid friendly. None of my videos are for kids and I, I put that on YouTube. YouTube asks its creators, is this for kids? And I click no for thousands and thousands of videos now. I have never once made a video for kids. That's number one. You wanna put on something for the kids? Put on Teletubbies. Put on Barney's, boo. Okay? This this content is for you to get healthy so you can help your kids become healthy. Okay? Now, she told me to clean up my my um, vocabulary. I cleaned up my diet. Now it's time to clean up my vocabulary. Ma'am, don't even come for me. Because how you haven't been raw a day in your life. So don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare come for me. Okay? And um, I'm sorry. You definitely shouldn't watch my content because this is the way I talk. For now, maybe I'll change one day if I'd like to, but it's going to be on my terms because that's why I quit my job and that's why I work for myself so that I could work on my terms, okay? My terms, not your terms, not what you want me to do, okay? So you know who, there's lots of other raw vegan content that you can consume and they never curse and everything is about hugs and rainbows and butterflies. You, That's your content. My content is for the people that resonate with it and if that's not you, then that's okay. All right, so please don't comment, just unsubscribe. Now, um, last thing I wanna say about the fruit. Yeah, so it took me a really long time to learn these tips and tricks that I'm teaching you guys. And basically, it's tr it was trial and error for me. So if you are someone who is trying to eat healthier and there's a fruit that I haven't done a video on, first off, if you're looking for a video on fruit, then just Type my name into YouTube and type in that fruit because I've done videos, I think, on every single fruit. However, there might be a fruit I haven't done. So first look for the video and then if you don't see it, come back here in the comments below and tell, tell me which fruit you'd like me to do because I would like to make sure and do all the fruits, all right? Now, personally, for the hammy melon, I am going to cut this up and I'm going to eat this for lunch. It's going to be my lunch. And then I'm going to actually, while I'm doing this, right after I do this, while I'm eating this hammy melon, I'm going to make my dinner because I have a lot of Zoom calls after this, a lot of coaching calls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my dinner so that it's ready. I want to eat by five so that I can be done eating at six. All right. I have learned 
okay, that my body does not digest food late at night, okay, even if it's grapes, all right, I try to be like my roommate, she can eat at midnight and stay looking good, all right, I cannot, I cannot, okay, I gotta eat my food early so that my body has time to digest, all right, and if you're like me um, and you easily gain weight, then here's what I want you to do, I want you to stop eating late at night, why did my dishwasher not do the dishes last night? This is weird. Okay, sorry. So let me get a different bowl. Um, oh, let's eat out of my new bowl. Okay. So anyway, I think that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. This was longer than it should have been. Um, this is my new bowl. Come on now. Okay, and we're going to put the hammy melon in the bowl. And we're going to have a good time. And you got to keep it very easy, simple, and delicious. And if you'd like... If you'd like thousands of easy, simple, delicious raw vegan recipes, then you should check out the plant-based bundle. It's only available for a few more days. The sale ends on July 14th. The, that's this Sunday. And what you're going to get in the bundle is you're going to get six raw food romance books. You're going to get Chris Kendall's um, new meal plan, summer 21-day meal plan guide. You're going to get my book, okay, Raw Vegan Excuses Part 2 right there you're gonna get this book 300 pages you're going to get lots and lots of other books uh, chef AJ she has a raw book in the bundle with Lissa from raw food romance Jillian Berry has her course in there there's honestly so many books that I can't even remember oh chef Yin blooming raw raw and radiant has a recipe book in there thousands of raw recipes all for just fifty dollars a hundred and ten books courses uh, workbooks and um, programs. There's fitness programs too. There's yoga programs. There's weight loss programs. It's really amazing. Everything is plant based. Everything is raw or high raw in the bundle. And um, the other thing that I want to say was you'll be in a contest. Is if you buy the bundle with my link, my link only, you will get put in the contest to win all of my books delivered straight to your house. And I want to say thank you very, very much to everyone who has purchased the bundle. Um, it's over a thousand people now. And I just, I'm just so grateful. And I'm so, so, so happy that there's so many people that care about their health and that are putting their health into their own hands to inspire their friends and family and to get healthy and to feel amazing. Ugh, I'm trying to make it look nice for y'all, but it's too much. It's too much. And this hammy melon is a 10 out of 10. So, do me a favor. Mm. Mm. Get your ass some hammy melon, but wait until it's ripe. It's got to smell. It's got to have some give. It's got to have no green on the outside, and it should be this color. Okay? It's got to be a golden yellow. Then put it in the fridge for 24 hours, and then cut it up and enjoy. And last thing I want to say is here's all my books that you'll get in the mail if you win the contest okay so not only will you get 110 ebooks but you're going to be entered to win all five of my books that will come to you in the mail i'll announce the winner um monday 9 a.m eastern standard time live here on youtube okay so i thank you so much these are my books that you'll get i'll see you check out the link below it's only until sunday and i would really really appreciate if you checked it out even if you're not going to purchase it just check it out boo i love you i'll see you soon Bye.